going to be super duper long as this is something that I've been purchasing in past six weeks or say one month and a half ish I was thinking of doing a separate beauty videos and fashion videos but then again I thought I didn't have that many beauty stuff to make one video of so I decided to put everything together so if you intend to watch this video please sit back and relax and make yourself a cup of tea or coffee because we are going to be here for a while so I'll just get right into it and I'm just gonna start off with the beauty items I collect air miles from one of the Japanese airline company and time to time when I have enough miles they send me some vouchers or rather I exchange my miles with my um, vouchers to spend at the airport so I picked up few items for basically free in a tax free and the first thing I want to share with you is this YSL lipstick. Well, in some of the department stores and some of the beauty shops, this is categorized in a lipstick or lip gloss or section. I think I find it in both. And this color is number 17 and a lot of people are raving about this product or a lot of people don't really like this product so I just wanted to try it out. This product definitely has very interesting texture as everyone says. It's for me feels like a little bit sticky and but if you put it in the right place you don't feel that stickiness and it looks in a container like light creamy type of shade but when it's applied and dried up it goes like a really deep fuchsia color i don't know it might be different color on you but like for me i have a really natural darker pigmentation on my lips so like it, many colors go deeper a lot of people say this color covers up your lip color completely but for me it's definitely transparent so I might have to pick up another color to test it out. For now, I like this, but I'm not totally loving it. So I'm just gonna have to use like a couple more times to see if I really, really like this product. And then this is something that I talked about in my um, best of 2012 videos, in the beauty videos. This is a backup that I picked up from RMK. This is called Gel Creamy Foundation and the shade 103. I think this foundation is totally, totally amazing and then I will be absolutely be loving this. I'm not gonna get into any details because I did in a previous video. So if you are interested, then go and look at my previous video. And this has been one of my absolute favorite for really long time now. This is Niles Garden from Elmes. I really like a lot of Elmes perfumes, especially the Garden series. They have four scents from Garden series and they are all unisex perfume. Niles Garden has been around the longest, so a lot of people seem to like this one the most. And I also like the garden on top of the roof. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say, but it's just a direct translation from the um, French name that they have. When I was passing by the airport, they are doing an amazing Christmas offer. So you basically buy this one. With the same price, you get a 15 milliliter small glass bottle and exactly the same since body cream. So I decided to purchase this because it's already been discounted at the tax free anyway, and you get some extra goodies to come with. And also this particular perfume, lots of Elmes perfumes in general, if you don't buy from the um, certified stockist, there are lots of fakes all around. So like you have to be really careful if you're ordering from the internet. And briefly, I was in Germany and of course I picked up these 4711 perfumes. I used to use the one called Blood Orange and Basil, but I decided to pick up something different this time because I used up the um, Blood Orange and Basil completely. And this is Lemon and Ginger and it looks like this. I absolutely love 4711 perfume and I've been loving that for past 2-3 years since I found it about like 3 years ago. It just smells really really fresh and many of the scents smells absolutely gorgeous. They are light, citrusy, very luxurious scents and I just totally love it. And lemon and ginger is something very unique. If you don't know the name of it, you definitely get lots of lemon, but like you also get lots of greenish scents. So like I wouldn't say ginger, but it's more like green tea and lemon, that, if that makes sense. With a hint of soapy type of scents. I totally, totally love it and I'm gonna have to pick the blood orange and basil one because I also like it so much. And then I came back to UK and it was already a Christmas time and 
every time I travel, how many times I travel, I always have a terrible, terrible jet lag and it goes on for at least one week. So I wake up about like 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. even. So one morning I was really really bored. I was doing some like internet searches and it was sort of maybe it was Christmas Day or something. And Philosophy was already doing a sale and I got so excited and I got carried away and I ordered six items. I am a big fan of Philosophy shower gels. I find them very very expensive. So when it's going to sale, that's the time for me to purchase. I picked up a um, lot of stuff. I'll show you one by one. The things I picked up from the Philosophy website was on sale from the Christmas collection, so they are all limited edition. And this is something that I had my eyes on for the longest time, the Philosophy Shower Gel Candy Cane. It looks like this. Unfortunately, I cannot smell yet because all of the Philosophy one comes this kind of lid. I just basically drawn into this packaging and how cute is that? And then these are something that I also had my other hot butter rum. I don't think you can see the writing, but it looks like this. The color is not really luxurious. The packaging of the philosophy stuff is not very luxurious, but the scent and everything about it is just really delicious. And I get some small hints of scents, even if it's sealed. Ah, uh, I, I can smell some like, I can smell some like a burnt sugar and like a hint of really expensive alcohol. I love that. And the next one is called Maple Glazed Cake and you definitely get a lot of maple syrupy type of scents. It's delicious. And eggnog. So, it's not exactly the sexiest name and the packaging and everything is just doesn't give me that, you know, really ooh, gorgeous type of feel. But I really like the smell of this particular philosophy eggnog scent so I got this but I might give it away as a gift to people who really like really sweet scents and, and this one comes in a box and it's called holy berry bubbly and it, it looks like this and inside you get berry colored shower gel really really pretty and I'm really looking forward to that I tried to smell it but I couldn't smell anything from the lid and lastly I got I love candy corn it's so American stuff and we don't get any candy corn at all in the UK or in Japan so well I just wanted to smell how the candy corn smells like I know even if it's half price it's still ridiculously expensive but I love it so much so this is the only time I can buy philosophy shower gel so and finally moving on to fashion items so in a January sale, I went slightly shoe crazy and I picked up random bits and pieces from the different shops. And the first thing I want to share with you is these Hunter Weddies. I had my eye on the Hunter Weddies for a really long time now, one year or something. But I just couldn't justify paying so much money on a pair of Weddies. But I'm really glad I got it. This is the color called Taupe, I believe. It looks like um, sort of light grayish color with small hints of beigey type of tone. Originally, I really wanted to buy the light gray one, but this is very, very similar to that color and it was on the sale. It's very, very comfortable. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it, especially in the rainy days, like in the UK. So I'm really looking forward to using this. And did you know that there is a place that you can write your name inside the Hunter Weddies. How cute is that? I'm so going to do that very, very soon. So the same place I ordered the uh, Hunter Weddies from, I ordered it from Alnet.com. I also ordered the Tory Burch shoes, which, which is this patent leather, really bright orange flat shoes. It's really, really cute. It has this, you know, signature Tory Burch stuff and the heel looks like this and it's just very classic very very comfortable and i'm really happy with that still toy watch is slightly expensive shoes um and then i went to vista village with my girlfriends the other day and i picked up one of my favorite pairs of shoes which is this todd's shoes they were on an amazing, amazing sale. They're usually retails for about like 300 pounds to 350 pounds if it's on a high heel like this. And if it's on the flat shoes, it's usually about like 
250 pounds. I bought it for 120 pounds and it was the last pair. Obviously, I had to get it. Originally, I wanted to have different pair of shoes which my friend bought because it was her size and it was also the last one. But I also really, really like this shoe. And it is so comfortable. I really, really love it. Obviously, you feel the quality. And I can in fact run in this. I wore it for the first time the other day and I walked for quite a long time, maybe like two hours straight, but I didn't get any blisters. And the Vista Village in Oxford only does like really great deals, um, especially in Todd's store twice a year, in one in July, one in January, I believe, but you've got to be really quick because they set out really quickly. And then my fashion haul is not completed without any of Banana Republic items, so of course, I've done lots of shopping in Banana Republic in Japan, but I left some of the stuff because I couldn't carry everything to here. So I will just show you the ones that I brought over here. The first thing I want to share with you is this jumper I'm wearing, and this is the Cashmere 100%. Really comfortable, amazingly warm jumper. It looks like this. It fits very, very nicely around my body. I don't know if you can see but it's just perfect, perfect size for me. It goes well with so many things and I've washed it three times now in the washing machine, but still keeping its shape and yeah, it just lasts for absolutely ages. You wouldn't find that many cashing a 100% jumper, which is machine washable and which retains the shape very well after the machine wash. So I loved it so much and I bought it in a different color as well. They were coming in like three different colors and one in gray, one in this taupey color and one in camo color and I decided to pick this one up. I try not to wear this as much as this because I want to keep this as sort of like a going out for lunch type of place or like you know more out to use. I want to keep this brand new as much as possible so I haven't worn it that much. I've already worn it about like four or five times and I wore it, I wore this one countless number of times. I can't even count. And then I picked out one more jumper here, which is sort of bright orange um, wool 100% jumper. And it looks like this. Um, it comes as like a cowl neck once it's on and it's just very comfortable. It's very easy to deal with. Again, this is machine washable which is pretty amazing as a wool 100% jumper. But this one is also winter collection and which is the skinny corduroy. It goes up to sort of ankle length. So Banana Republic brings out white corduroy trousers every winter and frankly, in my opinion, this year one was the bestest ever. And it's really, really stretchy and it, it hugs onto the skin really nicely. Since I like it so much, I might be picking up different colors from Banana Republic UK side because currently they're doing an amazing sale. But let's see how it goes because by the time that I decide to like something else, it might be springtime. So, And this is from the sale section and I picked out this amazing, amazing trousers. It's really hard to show you on the camera, but like it's just basically like a normal length, ankle length type of trousers. And the fabric has some sort of like a shiny texture. And what's amazing about these trousers is the back stitching. So it goes from the top of your bum to all the way down to your leg. So when you wear it, it's really unusual, but it makes your leg really, really straight. And it was 70% off of the original price. It was really, really good. And then I really like Banana Republic in general. I can live only with Banana Republic clothes, but sometimes I want to have some sort of spice into my fashion because Banana Republic clothes is very classic and quite fashionable, but they don't do anything too crazy. So sometimes I want to wear some slightly more fashionable stuff, if that makes sense. And I shopped on the Anthropology website the other day and it arrived so quickly, like it arrived in two days. It was just amazing delivery service. And I picked up this really nice corally top and it's made of polyester and when it's on the body, like it sort of flows and it covers up my bum. It doesn't look so long, but it's actually quite long. It has this really nice white crochet detail, which I really, really like. And I'm sure I will be adoring this throughout the summer. And 
I bought this dress. I wasn't sure if I really like this one, but it's really growing on me now, and it looks like this. What I like about this dress, and many of the dress actually, like if you have some sort of embellishment or sequin thing, it has some like sort of embellishment on the front, but many things doesn't have at the back. But this one has exactly the same amount of embellishment on the front and the back, which I really really like, and it's super duper long it comes sort of like three four centimeters below my knee which the type of length i don't usually go for but it actually makes it look really really nice it's definitely very summery it's really buggy and it's sort of an oversized type of dress so these are everything from my beauty fashion haul in the past six weeks and thank you so so much if you stayed with me this long and i hope you're not bored and i hope you enjoyed and I will speak to you soon. Bye!